Uh, my topic is the death penalty, and my claim is the death penalty is an ineffective uh, solution for capital crime. My first point is um, capital punishment does not deter crime. The theory of benefits is based on the idea that the threat of punishment must be severe enough to counter the benefits or the pleasures that the criminal would receive from the crime. This means that um, for whatever the criminal did, the, um, the, the punishment should be just as bad to deter so that they wouldn't do it. Um, again, so, but murdering a murderer isn't moral, so um, I think the better option for that would be life in prison. Scientific studies have constantly failed to demonstrate that executions deter people from committing a crime. Researchers found that murder rates in neighboring states with and without the death penalties were not significantly different. After death penalty was abolished, no increase in homicides were reported. Um, uh, researchers did studies about this when um, uh, the death penalty wasn't allowed, and there was only a five to six um, homicide difference from when the death penalty um, was allowed. So this shows no significant um, data in um, the deterrence of um, the death penalty. After many years of research, Thomas Sellin, a social scientist that has studied the effects of capital punishment on homicide, said, the presence of the death penalty in law and practice has no discernible evidence effect as a deterrence to murder. My second point is um, executions are carried out at a staggering cost to taxpayers. It costs more to execute a person than to keep him or her in prison for life. <coughs> um, Richard Dyer, Peter, and the executive director of the Death Penalty Information Center in Washington, D.C. says, the death penalty is the most expensive part of the system on a per-offender basis. Millions are spent to achieve a single death sentence that, even if imposed, is unlikely to be carried out. Thus, money that the police desperately need for more effective law enforcement to be wasted on the death penalty. The reason death penalties are so expensive is because, unlike normal cases for life sentences, they have to have two trials for a death penalty, one to um, convict the person of the crime, and the second for the figure out if they get death penalty or life in prison. And so this process usually takes about 10 years, and um, money with all the lawyers and all that usually um, ends up being more than $2 million. Um, life imprisonment is a better alternative. Life imprisonment with no chance of parole is cheaper and doesn't require the government to kill people. Um, the death penalty brings the government down to um, the criminal's level. like moral responsibilities, like an eye for an eye, you know, makes the whole world fine, is a famous saying. And um, us killing a murderer doesn't make us better than that. So in conclusion, uh, the death penalty is an ineffective, murder, an ineffective solution for capital crime. All right, the proposition is labeled. There's not really any preview of what the supporting points are going to be. Uh, the issue is controversial mostly because people have heard about it and they know that there's some dispute. Uh, the signpost on your first and your second points are very clearly labeled. That's good. Um, background information is not always as complete as it could be. The statistical information that you have on the first point is a little bit vague. There's no authority that's being cited. You do have one expert that gives a conclusionary statement at the end based on looking at 
get a variety of information, um, but they, you know, they don't tell us specifically what uh, the research was except the summary of these supposed state-by-state -state comparisons. Uh, you do get sidetracked onto some value arguments in a couple of places, arguing whether or not it is uh, appropriate for us to do this and whether or not it brings us down to the level of criminals. Uh, I think those arguments are mostly irrelevant from the issue of fact that you're talking about. The cost issue, I think, is uh, the second factual issue that really could be developed a little bit more. You have some data here, but it's not as effectively presented as it could be. You've got the one piece of testimony to start with. Later on, you make a reference to it costing $2 million more, but I don't get a source citation on that, and I think that that needs to be more extensively developed. Um, the cost issue, I think, is probably the strongest generalization you have. Uh, the value arguments really don't have a place for the claim of fact that you're dealing with. And the deterrence issue is a little bit awkward. Uh, just, a, just a couple of things on presentation. And I, I know that that you want to be careful about uh, this. Uh, it, sometimes it sounds like you're reading material uh, that you're not familiar with, that you haven't practiced, and you need to be a little bit more careful about some of the uh, phrasing because otherwise it undermines your credibility. So put some extra effort into kind of becoming familiar with the terminology. All right. Thank you.